Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel, Mama with Keisha. I'm Keisha Dust. So before we jump into today's video, if you could please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment, I would really appreciate it. And subscribe because you're already here. All right, I'm hungry. So I got some more sushi. I know I just did a sushi video, but I got some more from Harris Teeter again. And this time it was only $5. And this is the spicy shrimp roll. And it was only $5. I am drinking some grape flavored water. And I got some mussels here. It was supposed, it's like the frozen box of mussels that you buy and it's in a garlic butter sauce, but there was really no butter sauce in there. So I just added my own little stuff to kind of hook it up and added some onions. Let's get in. Let's dig in because I'm hungry. I do not have a topic, y'all. All I know is I'm hungry. And the crazy thing is I bought this at the grocery store, right? Like I said, Harris Teeter is a grocery store for those of y'all that don't know. And then my husband was like, you bought sushi? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, I ordered you Popeye's. And I was like, hey, because guess what? I'm going to eat again. Sholies. So I put my wasabi and my soy sauce here. All right, let's try this. Let's try this without anything first. Mm-hmm. Mm. Pretty good. And the shrimp is cooked for those of y'all that don't know. Y'all see that? It was right up against the wasabi, so all that is wasabi. Mmm. Woo. There it goes. If y'all never have wasabi, it burns your sinuses. I love it. <laughs> and this one's falling apart. All right, I'm gonna use my hands for that one. Mm, 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 mm. The lighting is like bright than dark, bright than dark. I feel like it's so dark today. It is raining outside and a little cloudy, so we gotta try to dig down in the juices. Mmm, okay. These are good. I'm glad I added some stuff to it because. Mm -mm. I definitely needed some love. For those of y'all that never had mussels and want to know what they taste like, it just tastes like fish. I think a lot of people don't like them because of the texture and because they look really funny. Like they look like something you probably shouldn't be eating. But guess what? I'm eat it and it tastes good. So this video probably won't be long. I am hungry though. Now they're supposed to clean muscles and when you clean a muscle it has this thing called the beard or they call it the tongue and you're supposed to rip it out. If it's not clean I won't eat it. I know a lot of people will um take their stuff home and clean it again whatever makes you feel good i haven't had mussels at a restaurant in a long time though that's what i'm gonna do next i have made must damn it this one looked good but it's ugh, that one's really not clean are you kidding me i mean you get what you pay for this was a cheap little frozen thing But I haven't had mussels in a restaurant in a really long time, and I really want to. Mm. I know a lot of y'all say Olive Garden is overrated, which it very it can be, but they used to have mussels, and I got them every single time. And then one day they, they weren't on the menu no more, and I was really fucking upset. But. And they had them in this like garlic butter herby broth and they gave you like a big piece of toasted bread on the side like garlicky bread to dip up all that broth oh my gosh so good
Mm. I love ginger. Take off half the shell. Use the shell that got the meat in it. Ooh, steaming. Mm-hmm. Um, ooh, I know what I still haven't tried yet, and I really need to. Beloved sauce. Nope. Dang, man. A lot of these are like, okay, this one's empty. Also, if the muscle is not open, don't eat it. That means that it was dead when they cooked it. Are you kidding me? Are these not clean, like at all? Okay, this one's clean. I'm glad I know that. I mean, I don't know what happens if you eat it. I just know that. That means that it's not clean and you're not supposed to eat it. Like, if you go to a restaurant and it's not clean, you can complain. And I'm pretty sure someone's gonna get yelled at in the kitchen, but I know they take that stuff real seriously. That's crazy. I feel like a lot of these just go to waste. I hate when the shell is broken sharp so be careful in fact I'm just gonna take it out to be perfectly honest if I didn't add some stuff to it I would probably not even eat these because they're really not that flavorful today I think I'm done buying frozen mussels and I've made my own mussels fresh that's like a million videos ago on my channel and I need, I think I could have made them better. I'm just not gonna eat the one because I don't like the way it looks. <laughs> but, oh, that was hot. Ooh, ooh, my teeth are sensitive, but ooh, that was hot on my gums. <sighs> Y'all, I'm really kind of annoyed that these are not cleaned. But I think they were only like three bucks for a box of them. A small little box. So, mm. give me a come back. I was just trying to. Okay, there we go. See that one. I'm gonna eat because it came right off. Oh, no, it didn't. That must have been from a different one. <sighs> Who told me to stick my hand in this hot ass broth? Is there even one in here? Yeah, what a broken shell. Is there any more in here? Oh, Lord, that's hot. Let me take one of these shells here and see if there's any more. This is the one that I just got that was broken. And that was it. I'm glad I didn't spend a lot of money on that. I'll tell you that. Even at the like at the restaurants, the broth that it be in is so good. Like, mm. so I'm about to finish the sushi. This is gonna be such a short video, and I ain't talking much. I'll probably like, girl, you are talking much. You just ain't talking about nothing. Mm, mm, mm. Cold on my teeth, cold on my teeth. I usually let my sushi sit on the counter for a few minutes before I eat it, which is what I did. Because my teeth are way too sensitive to cold right now.
but i hope y'all have been enjoying my videos this will be the first week that oh you're i forgot this this video i think is going to come out monday or tuesday but the last videos y'all will see before this would have been a monday wednesday friday i did videos that was the first week i did three videos in one week and i'm hoping that like makes a difference since i've been very very slack but i'm hoping it makes a difference and everyone likes it oh man there was only one tiny baby shrimp in there and that came out when i ate it hmm? Okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. I'm full, actually. Mm, I'm about to say something I forgot. I really hope y'all like my Sheen haul video. That was fun to do. I was hot though. Change it in and out of clothes like this. Mm. Bailey just came in here with her iPad, so I hope y'all cannot hear it because I don't want no copyright issues. But I'm done. If y'all haven't watched my last couple videos, please do. Please show some love to the Sheen Hall crawfish and sushi. I'm really hoping three days a week makes makes a difference. So I'm going to see what it's like. But let me tell you. On Wednesday, the Sheen haul video, I uploaded that earlier in the day. Never again. Mm -mm. It, it, that was made me nervous because there was like no views for a good little chunk of time. And I was like, oh no. I mean, I'm not up there high in views, but to have zero after like an hour or two. Mm -mm. I was like, okay, I need to stick, stick to my six after six o'clock time. I'm trying to debate if I want to eat this piece of ginger or not. Excuse me. Probably not. But anyways, y'all, I'm done. That was good. Nice, quick, fast little video. I love this Harris Teeter sushi. It's good. It's affordable. Today, I was there when the lady was actually making some. So that was nice. And they had a promo today where almost everything was only $5. So I thought that was pretty cool. I only got one because I knew I was going to eat the mussels too, even though a lot of those went to waste. But that's okay. My husband also got me Popeyes, and I'm going to eat that too. Not right now, but in a little bit I will. Anyways, thank you all for watching. As always, thank you for the love and support, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.